Oh. Oh. Looks like Yusuke's texting me. I think you're getting him too. You have my gratitude. What are you so polite for all of a sudden? I am truly thankful to you for making me come to my senses. You owe us one? God damn. I most certainly am not. I must express my gratitude earnestly. You're one of us now, man. We'll be counting on you, okay? Of course. And if, I, and if anything comes up, we won't hesitate to lend a hand. Thank you. Well, then, see you. <laughs> I didn't have to go through all that trouble just to thank us. He's such an honest guy. Anyways, that went well for our first job. It was a huge success. So that said, you got time after this? You know. Well, thing is, I got some free tickets to a darts lounge from this guy I know. But I totally forgot that they expired today. So you want to go right now? <sighs> Ryuji, didn't we just finish talking about how we need to be on guard? Come on, it's just darts. Don't you want to play two more, Ghana? I mean, if you can actually throw anything. Mm. If you're just going to play, then I guess it shouldn't be a problem. All right, now let's head to this darts lounge or whatever it is. Either way, Ryuji. Yeah! Yeah, this is totally new, but I'm down for it. The place is Kichi Joji, so we gotta take the train first. Oh, wait for real? There's a bunch of different shops right outside the station here. Let's go. Or there. It's just one stop away from Shibuya. So let's head to the Inogami line first. God damn it! I actually gotta find it. Uh, can I buy my special? No, nope, I can't. Man. God damn it! I'll buy it tonight then. I'm excited, we get to go to a brand new location. Hey! Let's go. Alright, let's go! Let S S get it. I don't know what to expect here, but Alright. I'd like to say this now, is We're heading to an area that's outside of where your commuter pass works. So make sure you've got the fare. Yeah, great. I mean it's just 200 yen still. The school commuter train. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Those two. Why is Makoto still following our ass? Ooh. Whoa. So this is Kichi Joji, huh? You can tell it's nothing like Shibuya just from the atmosphere alone. Well, yeah. Looks like there are a lot of shops here that you can't find in Shibuya. Not that I'd really know. Right? It's got your attention now, huh? Aunt's not here because she's busy, but I bet it'd be fun to come here with some more people. I think the darts the darts lounge is one block up from the main street. All right. But since we're here, I won't say no to checking out a bunch of the other shops on the way. I mean, I'm down. Can I save? Let's do it. I can. Hello. Yeah, let's give it a, a quick look, see what's going on here. God damn it. Seriously gonna be here, just fucking... Uh, Alright, let's talk to this lovely Hi woman. There. Best to provide information regarding this area. Hey! Any questions? About this city? Well, then. Four different areas. On the uh, promenade, you can find a fried food shop, a stationery store, a secondhand clothing store, and a temple. The ground beef cutlet at the fried food shop is delicious, but... You will have to wait in line. If you take a left at the fried food shop, you'll see Retro Street. Here you can find a selection of chicken sophisticated stores. There's also a jazz club at the end of the alley. Sometimes popular singers will go there and the liveliness is inevitable. I hope, it, uh, hope I explained it all right. You have any other questions? Please continue. Yes. After passing Retro Street, you will see Rue de... What the fuck? Chochu? which has a variety of fancy stores to visit. And there's also a well-known healing crystal store selling power stones that provide real results. Not only that, but on Rue de Chichu, there is a lounge to enjoy darts and billards. Excitement is inevitable. I guess everything's fucking inevitable here. The last one is Harmony Alley, which is like a drinking district. It's located just past this information desk. It has an old Japanese flavor. Perfect for just enjoying the atmosphere. The inspiration is inevitable. God damn it. 
Well, that's about it for the city. Yeah, let's, uh, what do you recommend about the stores? Anything I should know. Actually. There's something I heard recently. About the fried food shop in the promenade. People say it's tedious to wait in line. And by nighttime, it's already sold out. So what are we to do if, you w if we want one? Well, they say on Sundays they make more than usual. So, in other words, if you go there on a Sunday night and the story I... And the story I hear, or heard ends there. All right, so we go there on Sunday nights. Gotcha. Again. Well, that was useful. What's this shop? Hmm. My Morgana senses are telling me that this store sells a lot of stuff that suits my taste. What the hell are Morgana senses? Well. Yeah, let's take a look. Hello and welcome. We have plenty of items here you can give to others. What would you like? Oh, okay. So this is... Or we can get some gifts. That's 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 always good. That employee dude was saying something about how their stuff makes good gifts. Yeah, <laughs> I guess it'd be pretty cool to get a gift from here. Uh, yeah, absolutely. There's a clothing store. Hey, check out that sign in the store. It says, "Bring your sooty clothing here." Sooty clothes. Hmm. Let's just, let's see what they got. Uh, what's that? Can I take a look at that? Don't worry, I won't steal it. At the second-hand shop, you can sell sooty armor you own. Depending on what the sooty armor was originally, it may fetch a decent price. Ah. So, I guess instead of washing it, we can just sell it. For each clothing item you sell, you obtain shop points, which can be traded for prizes at the shop. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm... I'm fucking down with that. Let's, uh... Each piece of clothing you sell here will give you 10 points. All right. Once you obtain enough points, you can trade them in for a prize, so feel free to let us take that clothing off your hands. Hmm. Hmm. Um, uh, yeah, fuck it. I want to sell. Welcome. Oh, God. We have a lot. Honestly, I don't mind just selling all of it. 180 points right there. Uh, let's see the prizes. And we already are <laughs> a fucking... Uh, trophy for that. So, we can actually get a. I don't know what Masuku is. And we can get. Okay, so we can get two items here. That might be useful. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna get one of this and one of this. Let's get the yuck out of here. Well, that was kind of a weird store. But I guess it was pretty fun. Let's check it out again sometime. Um, I think this is the uh, the fried food. It kind of looks like it. Yeah, the fried food shop. Oh, look at the line. I think I saw the store on TV. It looks like their special meat cutlet is the most popular item. Yeah, we'll have to come by at night. We already know that story. What's going on over... What the hell? Good day, what brings you here? I'm surpri uh, surprised to see a monk. Fret not, I'm merely a fellow human being who eats and breathes just as you do. The temple is open to the public during the day. You are most welcome to visit any time. Hey! Let's come back another time. I wonder what we can do there. There was like a, like a shrine in Persona oh. 4. Uh, I don't want any of these. Anything in this one? Oh. Nope, both the same. Damn. Uh, oh, oh, hello, Makoto. Uh, um. What a coincidence. Y yeah. Hmm. What's going on back here? A Chinese bun shop. Hey, look. This Nikuman looks so much tastier than the ones at the convenience stores. It does. You guys want to get one? How about it? Hi there. Well. Shit, maybe. I mean. Hmm, I don't know if I really need to, to be completely honest. Oh, I'll pass. I see. Interesting, though. Very interesting, as Makoto continues to fucking follow us. It's so obvious, man. Uh, what's in this store? I see. They've got food from foreign countries. Some of these look pretty interesting. Seems like they've got some rare stuff. Let's check it out. Please feel free to enjoy the taste of countries the world over. Welcome! Yeah, it's just more healing items. I think I'm alright. I'll get my healing items from our confidant at the 
clinic. I see a piano over here. Jazz gin. Oh. A jazz club, huh? Seems like a place for adults. Dude, you get you get jazz? That, that's cool. Either way, it looks like it's only open at night. Might have to come by there sometime. There's a lot here in terms of oh. choice. Ah, uh, this is the road. Hey. The name of that shop matches what's on the free tickets. It says Penguin Sniper. Huh. Why'd you give one of those doofy birds a gun? For real? I find it funny that Makoto follows you. Yeah, she did that in the base game too, but like she's making it so obvious, man. If you're coming up with a good name, well, whatever. Let's check it out. I want to look at the other stores first. There's a, uh, I don't know what this. Oh, yeah, this is the healing stones. Check out all the treasures they have in here. Power stones are those amulet-like things, right? They've got some weird power or something. Let's check it out. Welcome. Please have a look at what we have. Welcome. Uh, so it looks like it's just a bunch of accessories. Oh, these actually could be very useful. These would amplify abilities. Stone able to transform into various equipment. We have eight of these? What the fuck? Oh, these are used. Okay, I know what these are used for. Hmm. Come on. I may come back here at some point. All right, there's one more spot. Right down here. Hmm. An incense store. Dude, I'm telling you, it seems freaking fishy. You've got no interest in incenses, right? Where would you even use it? Okay. I mean... Oh, what the fuck? Is there something here? A bar. Hmm. Oh. So there are... So there's some places down this alley that would open up later on. Gotcha. Here's the place. Oh man, I'm getting kind of nervous. Hmm. You're such a child. Try not to embarrass the rest of us, would you? You don't gotta tell me that. So what's the plan? You wanna head inside? Let's do it. I'm ready to play some fucking darts. I don't even know how to play. Alright, bull! That's a new high score! The center of the target's called the bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the bull. Oh, really? I know because I looked up the rules online last night. I mean, that's totally fine. Anyway, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? That's pretty different. We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? So you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. By the way, the Jazz Club gives you certain status ailments? Wait, what do you mean, like? This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. Looks like I'm not the one playing here. <laughs> one point? Come on. You have to straighten your arm out more and... Hey, Ryuji, what's up? Ah, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you, though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Yeah, why not? Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening. Here goes. Don't underestimate an ex-athlete. Hell yeah, triple 20. Whoa, he hit such a tiny spot. Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. Damn, he is pumped. We're almost down to zero points. That's really focused for this last round. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Zero points right on the dot. Oh, ain't we badass? That's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. 
Man, this is so fun. When you're on the line, the pressure's insane, but it makes you want to do your best for your partner. If you take different thieves there on Sunday, I think they give you certain... Oh, okay. I see what you're saying now. Oh, what? Baton pass rank two? You gonna rank up your fucking baton pass, dude? What the hell? My god. Dude, we're gonna play a lot of darts. The higher your baton pass rank, the more powerful the effects will be when performing a baton pass. Rank one, increased damage dealt. Rank two, so you get your HP healed. Rank three, you're... Oh my god, dude, this is fucking broken. Holy shit. <laughs> Based on the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Even if it is just a game. It can be some kind of training, depending on how you play. <laughs> well, I do always have the Phantom Thieves on the brain. Let's keep practicing together here. Oh, uh, oh, let's invite everybody next time. Man, all this just from me asking you to meet me here? This is like, uh, you know, one of those strikes of good luck. A stroke of good luck. Why would it be a strike? Who would protest having good luck? Ooh, what's that? It is called pool. Oh yeah, they have pool here too. Hmm, this game could be useful too, depending on how we look at it. Yeah, it's already pretty late though. We can come back and play it later. Ah, and don't forget, we got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. But it was super fun, right? Oh, I really want to play again sometime. Well, we should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. I wish I was actually the one that got to play. I was I was kind of looking forward to it. Hey. If I remember correctly, you transfer lines at Shibuya, right? I heard customers say it's gotten pretty dangerous over there. Don't let yourself be a target, got it? Mm. Wow, that's really gotten that unsafe, huh? That said, you still want to check out Kichi, uh, Kichi Joji at night, don't you? Don't worry, Akira. Worst comes to worst, I've got your back. <laughs> Besides, there's a certain delicious smell on the street that bears investigating. Oh yeah, you're right. Picked up some interesting info you might want to hear. Apparently, there's this old man who's been causing problems in Kichi Joji. If you make one wrong move or say the wrong thing, he flies into a rage and turns into a fight. Even if you don't hit him, he lies and says you did, and then sues for damages. So, he's like a con artist. Or a conflict artist. That's ridiculous. I agree. We can't let this guy go unchecked. Only problem is, knowing that he's an old troublemaker isn't enough to get us a name. But I did hear that he hangs out in Kichi Joji's Harmony Alley a lot. This old man sure does sound like a problem. And if we don't know his name, we can't make him have a change of heart. Okay. It sounds like our next stop is Kichi Joji. Let's go check out that Harmony Alley. Hella. I don't know if this is the request we need in order to move on. And we can hang out with Yoshida today. I should write That's something. also something. Let's go find out the name of this guy. Then maybe we'll hang out with Yoshida. Or we'll do something else, you know? Maybe we'll hang out a little in our brand new location. Alright, let's go to the shopping district. Hey, hey. We have a target we haven't identified, right? Let's go to Harmony Alley and gather some info on the old man. Uh, where is that again? It's not that way. Harmony Alley. Shoot. I've already forgotten everything in regards to the, uh, to the streets. Everyone's talking about my- okay, no, this- This doesn't seem like what we, uh, need to listen to. Unless Harmony Alley is the alleyway that we weren't at, or we were at, but we couldn't do anything with. God damn, it gets pretty fucking cramped back here, holy shit. Incense shop. Okay, still can't do anything there. I saw a drunk guy in Yongin Jaya, so out of it I could barely look at him. Well, that's always good. Anything going on? Oh, wait. People we can listen to right here. 
That old man hasn't come here yet. No wonder I'm drinking in peace. I don't like bad-mouthing my customers, but he makes so much trouble. An old man making trouble. Hey. Do you think they're talking about the elderly man causing trouble in Kichi Joji? Hey, this ain't no place for a youngin like you. You looking for something around here? Ooh boy, so even kids like you know about him. That old man's out of control. He takes drinks from strangers, he starts fights. And when he gets in trouble, he causes a ruckus and tries to meet money off people. What's creepy is the more trouble he makes, the wider his smile gets. Oh yeah, the old man's always shouting his name over and over. Heiji Ono, right? Yep, that's the name. Okay. All right, we got the name of our target. But you know, I can't be that hard on him. He's around my dad's age. When he complains about his joints hurting on rainy days, I can't help but feel sorry for the old man. I wish he didn't hang around here. But stay warm. Uh, but stay warm with his family instead. You might sound awfully sympathetic, but I know you really think he's a pain in the ass. Well, yeah, I'm not denying that. Mm. His joints hurt on rainy days. Poor guy. Okay, let's go. I don't think we got all the info we need. Why don't we talk about it at the hideout? Yep. Looks like that'll be the plan. So, is there anything that we need to do here? Obviously, we can hang out here. Oh, welcome. Oh shit, an SP item. Yeah, I'll fucking take that. Why the fuck not? Yeah, I don't know if there's anything we should do here, because, I mean, there's that jazz club. Oh shit, it's popping here. It is popping. I wonder what kind of place is down. It is down there. Oh, we can't go in. It seems. Maybe next time. I guess for now, we, I guess we'll just, you know, hang out with Yoshida. No issue with that. Though I am curious. Is this the momentous request that we need in order to unlock the next part? I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't state here what, uh, what floor it would be on. I might have to look that up. But, yeah, let's, uh, let's hang out with Yoshida, and that'll probably do it here for the, uh, for the session. We gotta free up our Sundays by getting his confidant taken care of. This will get us to rank three, I believe. Everyone, that you possess free, uh, that you possess free will, uh, why why is this sentence confusing the shit out of me? That you possess free will does not mean that you can always do as you please. To make your decisions based simply on loss and gain is to act like a heartless machine. The reason so few people care about their fellow man is because so few have the energy to do so. We politicians have fallen short of our goal to change society. We need we need your support more than ever. That approach isn't going to work. You have to get the voters more excited. You're going to completely lose the hearts and minds of the people. Again, what I'd like to say is... What? Councilman Matsushita. It's been so long since we last spoke. I wanted to stop by and see how you were doing. Oh, you have a high schooler volunteering for you, huh? My times have changed. Do you know about the Kuramoto children? I remember playing this game for the first time and I was... Yeah, I remember playing it too for the first time. I was so overwhelmed. I was so nervous too. I was just hoping I would do things right. I was constantly reloading because I didn't know if an action was the right one. And I haven't done that yet. Um, the, the time is coming though. The time is coming when I'll have to reload and do a different, uh, a different thing for a night or day or whatever. For passing the time. Just in case. The Kuramoto Children. That was nearly 20 years ago. I'm impressed that you're so interested in politics. I was a member of the Kuramoto Children as well. Yoshida and I joined the same year. I made an amazing career change, going from a pro wrestler to a diet member. I was elected easily. But I had no idea what I was doing. I realized I wasn't elected on my own merit when I failed to be re-elected for a second term. That was true for the both of us. No. You made a great comeback, though. You're truly an inspiration. As are you, old friend. You're working harder than anyone on the campaign trail. Oh, there's no need for false praise to impress the boy here. Yoshida is well informed about the inner workings of politics, so I'm sure he'll be a great teacher. 
However, I suggest you only do as he says and not as he does if you want to become a diet member. Hmm? And what might that mean? I'm guessing he doesn't know. You really think you can win the election by being completely honest and making good arguments? You've got to secure votes, or else you'll be forever known as no good Torah. What? Without honesty and good arguments, there can be no political justice. And it's been a while since I've heard one of your grandiose speeches. Kirisu-kun, was it? Tell me. What about Yoshida? Here drew you in. His message, his speaking skills, it's hard to say. I had a friend telling me what I should do sometimes, but I was still overwhelmed. Yeah, I honestly feel, and, and I'm, I'm wrong of doing this, to kind of just go in your own direction. But something one of my friends did when he picked up the game is he didn't care about the skills or the confidants all that much. Instead, he would just go to the gym. He would basically do things like, like sure, he's, he's improving, he's, he's improving Joker, but the skills and confidants are just so necessary. And in the end, I didn't think he was like, I don't think his setup was so well uh, because of how he kind of disregarded confidants and, and skills in the beginning. So he may have fell behind. So while I strongly feel like everybody should play in their own way, you should still maybe listen to the game's hints about focusing on confidants and, and skills and utilizing your time well. Kirisu-kun. You address matters quite directly for a young person. It seems you have been taught well. You're right. I tend to teach him everything I know. And that's what we agreed on. Yoshida's like the father I never had. Allows you to ask for large amounts of money during negotiations. All right. Beautiful. By the way, how are things between you and old man Kuramoto? Yes. We're still not on speaking terms. There's something I'd like your opinion on, so I'll be in touch. Very well. Oh, that reminds me. You may still distrust me because of what happened with the missing party funds, but I'm not the one who pointed the finger at you. That's all I'm gonna say. <clears throat> Why did he have to mention that? My apologies. That's all for today. Well then, I'll see you again. Glad we can be in agreement to that. I don't know. I just feel like people, and not specifically with this game either, but people should definitely play games at, at their own pace and in their own way. What a mess. Past mistakes can really come back to bite you, and it's hard to feel like you've ever truly escaped them. Some people can fight their way back up like Matsushita, but many end up suffering under the weight of labels. Even after 20 years, I'm still nothing more than good, no good Tora. But I will not give up. It's true that I lost a lot, but I did learn a great many things along the way. Somewhere in the middle of it all, my old stubbornness was tempered into conviction. My one redeeming quality. That is why I want you to use your experiences to forge your own conviction. Yes. You're still young after all. You have a great deal more learning and growing to do. Ah, I ended up talking longer than I expected. Well, until next time. I like Yoshida. I just like the nice people. Ooh. I like the nice people in this game. Did you see the news? About the calling card from the Phantom Thieves, right? The way it was written seemed pretty legit. Have they really stolen people's hearts? I can't believe the Phantom Thieves actually exist. You fools. Oh, hey. <sighs> Looks like we're uh, in summer uniform mode. It's so gross and humid. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are... Hot spots of Tokyo. Penguin Sniper has opened for business in Kichijoji. What's Penguin Sniper, you ask? A zoo? A pet shop? No, it's a trendy lounge for darts and billards. Whether alone or in a group, how you play is up to you. Oh! It's that one lounge. Next time we go, I'm gonna play darts too. Still, there sure are a lot of shops in Kichijoji. We should take our time and look around when we get the chance. It's a neat area. I like the uh, inclusion of it. You can definitely tell that, uh, that they kind of squeeze it in. Morning. The response at Madarame's press conference was huge. Everyone's talking about the calling card. 
girls are checking me out today. Maybe they can't help but sense my overflowing phantom thief charisma? Oh shit. Am I finally starting to be popular with all the fu- Oh no. For real? What's wrong, my uniform, man? That's what. We're supposed to switch to summer uniforms today. I knew people were looking at me. God damn it. I gotta go home and change. So, uh, you go on ahead. Can't you just take off the... the jacket? I guess there's also what's underneath. Because of the suspenders. <laughs> Holy shit, you're pale. Short sleeves are so not for you. Shut up. Jeez. Anyway, did you catch the news yesterday? Watching that famous artist cry his eyes out all over the artwork he's stolen. There should be a bookshop in Yongin Yat. Is there? The same thing happened to Kamoshida, right? Both got weird calling cards, too. If you ask me, the same person is behind all of this. The news this morning said a group called the Royal Stands, hey, that's us, are the ones behind the cards. I wonder how they get people to confess. I mean, they can't literally be stealing hearts. Where the fa Oh, the f that's in the library. Is the uh, speed reader, is that up? Can we get that now? Yeah, made it. <sighs> Sprinting first thing in the morning was a bad idea. Well, that's gotta be, that's definitely my personal best by a lot. Yeah, he just changed shirts. What was the point of that? Just take off the coat. How are things going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier? I have nothing to report yet. Nothing at all? How many students are there who could provoke a teacher? I've already narrowed it down. I just can't get any solid evidence. <sighs> you knew, didn't you? About Mr. Kamoshida sexually harassing students. I'll definitely take a look if the speed reader is available. Sir! What will come of you asking that? This investigation is for a just cause, correct? I believe I understand how flustered this must be making you. I'm sure it was truly shocking for you as student council president to see a peer attempt suicide. Yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. That is the most pressing issue we have to tackle at the moment. So that's your reason behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... You heard about the incident with that Matarami fellow, I assume? They said there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Kamoshida's case. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Yes. That is where I stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand, not unnecessary questions. <sighs> Poor Makoto. Did you see Matarame's press conference? You mean that guy who was all like, How could I possibly apologize for what I've done? Ah, oh, man, they drew him on the board, too. Think it was really those phantom thieves? You know, the whole stealing your heart thing? That? Uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. Yeah! How's it going? Have you found our next big target? I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm gonna find one that quick. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? Huh? Oh crap, the social studies trip! Oh, I just want to ditch it. You'd better go to your school activities. Didn't I tell you not to draw attention to yourselves? Wouldn't me suddenly turn it into a good student stand out more? Quit bickering and go. Then let's all choose the TV station. I heard we're gonna get to watch them tape a show. Maybe there'll be actresses there. Oh well. Not like I got anything better to do than waiting for info to come in online. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. Yeah, I'm not really much of a fan of the next palace, but uh, 
That's not too bad. There's parts of it I like and parts of it I don't like. It's the fifth one right, I don't like really well. Back. TV, huh? Maybe I should get a haircut. That guy is such an idiot. I hope nothing happens. Oh, <laughs> well. No one reuse you. Anything is bound to happen. Feels pretty great having everybody talk about us, huh? Matarame is the only topic of conversation at my school. And as I'm his pupil, most of my peers have chosen to ignore me. For real? That's bullshit. Are you gonna be okay? There is no need to worry. They had already been treating me differently from others as it stood. This is nothing new to me. Okay then. More importantly, do we have any leads on our next mission? You kidding? There's no way we'd find a target that quick. You hate her? Uh, I like her. She's she's all right. Not the greatest, but she's all right. Understood. Ooh, we could always go to Mementos instead. I will keep myself free. Please tell me if anything comes up. Hey, are oh, you no. listening? Not this shit. Come on, avoid this shit. Nice. No Bro, we got that proficiency. <laughs> And now we got that charm. Bro, this is happening more often than it ever did in any of my playthroughs. Maybe it's because I'm taking too long during the, the reading of the phone me- Ooh! Uh, senpai. What a pleasant surprise. Yes! It's really pouring down, isn't it? Oh man, unfortunately. I thought something like this would happen. So I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag. Thank you, Morgana. Keep packing for me, please. You want me to pack a towel and change of underwear next time? Yes. Well, see you around. No! No! Actually, I forgot my umbrella. But it's fine. I'll barely get wet if I run to the station. If anything, it'll make for good training. Uh, care to walk to get- yeah, let's go with that. Come on. Uh-huh. But how are- oh, are you offering to share your umbrella? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That'd be wonderful. Thank you so much. Thanks again for letting me join you. To be honest, prelims are coming up soon. So I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Wingman Morgana, that's exactly what I'm saying. Oh, the preliminary competition for gymnastics. Two huge competitions are coming up. One at the beginning of summer and one near the end. If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative. And there's a qualifier meet to determine who that rep will be. It's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. So, I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. I'll cheer you on, hell yeah. I'd be invincible if I had you cheering me on, senpai. <laughs> Giggles. Oh, we're already at the station. God damn it. Why couldn't we have walked slower? I'll be fine from here out. I can't thank you enough for today. I swear, I'll return the favor some... Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP treatment at school and a boyfriend to escort her around? Miss Special Snowflake sure is living on Easy Street. Damn, people are assholes. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to deal with a misunderstanding like that. Yeah, you're right. The same thing happens in class, too. People are often wary of me because I'm an honor student. The school's expecting me to attain strong results in the upcoming competitions, too. They even told me I didn't have to participate in the cleanup event. But I just don't like getting special treatment. Oh, excuse me. My father's calling. Hello, Dad? What was that? Uh, sorry, my phone's been acting up lately. It's okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Sorry about that. He asked if I needed a ride since it's raining. A bit overprotective, don't you think? 
Nah. You got a great dad. He must care. Yeah, let's go with this one. Yes, I definitely agree. Well, I have to get to practice, so it's time for me to go. Thanks so much for today. Excuse me. Dude, we need to wife her up immediately. Seems pretty rough. Seems like Yoshizawa has it hard, too. But never mind that. Having wet fur is the worst. Try to keep me under the umbrella, would you? Hey, I found some great intel. This time, it's the bullying by a Kosei student they call a queen. She's been ordering around a male student who goes by the name M. Kind of like the M in SNM. Makes you want to cry, doesn't it? Anyway, here are the details. The girl acting like a queen is Hakuri Shim Shimizu? I wonder if it's more likely that a girl will turn out like that if she has an S as an initial. Well, I already posted the warning, so you should take it on when you have the time. Hopefully you don't end up an M. All right, so I think that's the request. The Memento's request that uh, will get us going to the... Uh, to the next part of mementos. That's what I was kind of looking for. I'll just add this. So we will save the game and end today's session. A really good one. A good two episodes for the old YouTube channel and all of that. Thank you for coming by MVP and chatting it up with me during the uh, during the session. I do appreciate that. To anybody else in the stream that may have popped in, anybody that's watched the videos, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed over on the channel, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and all that other fancy jazz. And also to those here on Twitch, thank you for tuning in, and I will see all of you next time. Take it easy.